So good afternoon everyone. Today we are going to look into using the Foxit PDF reader and to do that we will go to any medium of our choice to pick up a PDF and for this case I've chosen to use uh, a PDF uh, from a publication of uh, Munya Elvis, one of your classmates and uh, we're doing this on PubMed which is the place where you usually download most articles uh, for biomedical research. So I will go choose this uh, PMC full text free download and uh, when I get it I'm going to uh, pick up PDF and so it opens like that and we may want to get it downloaded on our computer and now we already see that uh, the computer have, uh, is giving us uh, some information. You've chosen to open this PDF, uh, which is a Foxit reader document. And uh, for my case, I've made uh, my PDFs to be opened by Foxit reader PDF. And so uh, here we have the option of uh, opening straight on with uh, Foxit PDF reader, or we have the option of saving. I'll just go ahead and choose uh, opening and we'll open that directly. Great, so when we open this is how it's going to be and uh, here we have already some background information about what the PDF looks like. This current file is compliant with PDF slash A and has been opened read only to prevent modification. So actually uh, what may happen at times is that you will be able to modify things in some PDFs and uh, that is a gray zone because uh, it could let some people be tempted to fraud and so on. But um, for the sake of this um, tutorial, we are just about learning how to use the Foxit reader to effectively read our PDFs. And so uh, you may want to choose enable editing and you get such an option editing a, P editing a PDF will cause the PDF to no longer comply well I'm going to select that because uh, after this I'm not using the PDF anyway we'll increase the size here a little bit so that we are able to see what is in there now generally when we look on the left hand side we have a menu showing us what the headings the major headings and the subheadings are like and we could access them directly from there if we want. Uh, sometimes it may not be uh, uh, intuitive to have these headings showing in here and you may want to hide that away from you. So I've hidden that and you can call it back here. So hide and call. And now when we look generally in here, we have uh, these ribbons. You have this ribbon which is accessed by these main themes up here. So you can have five, you go home, comment, view, form, protect, share, connect, help, extras, and so on. So let's go back to home. And uh, on, the uh, on the left hand side here, you also have uh, some other things you can use to access directly, like uh, add, remove, and manage bookmarks. Well, maybe we may never use that. View page thumbnails, you may never use that. Manage page layers, and so on and so on. And um, finally, you have uh, manage dig digital signatures, which uh, we also can access up here somehow. Um, it may happen that you will be able to use all of the options, but um, I think you using just a little bit of them will make you read your PDF effectively. Now, at times, this ribbon up here may stay on your way and uh, you may also want to hide it just like we hit this one here so that you have more space in your computer to read and in that case you just want to go up here so there you see change ribbon status and if you click that you're going to hide the ribbon and for the sake of this uh, tutorial let's just leave the ribbon down we don't want to hide the ribbon we want it to be accessible and now um, we we see that when we hover on top of the paper 
we have a hand sign showing and if we scroll on the mouse button we could move from one page to the other and uh, so using this PDF we're going to uh, do lots of things to see how we can read effectively now you see the hand tool is selected so that is why if you come here and scroll down you're going to see that moving up and down and uh, supposing we took this PDF and uh, we wanted to read let's begin to look at what we have up there we have next the selection tool and this is this one here we could use it to select and uh, if we select and um, say we right click then we see other sorts of options coming so I select again say I'm selecting uh, ivermectin and uh, microfilaricide then uh, if I right click there I'm going to see this option supposing I wanted to uh, read this somehow and get some highlights uh, just uh, showing up to me when I get the PDF again I'll select this highlight and you see it's already sort of highlighted that okay so we've highlighted um, what we think could be important we keep on reading and maybe uh, we find this name we think we can highlight it we go to right click uh, we can either highlight or we are striking out or underlining we could underline and it's uh, giving us access to uh, some other information uh, or, or highlighting some other information to us by underlining now um, we go to the next you also will be able to do a snapshot uh, and in that case uh, let's say there's a figure in here a table or a figure this one which you want to use for a PowerPoint presentation you could just go there and uh, grab it by snapshot so we did another method by using green shot which is another possibility but here in uh, Foxit reader you're also able to grab a snapshot and if you highlight and grab this way it tells you the selected area has been copied to clipboard so clipboard is like the storage room the temporary storage room for things that are copied uh, to be transferred from one program to the other in this case and we may want to click OK and uh, we'll be transferring this maybe to PowerPoint if we want to do a presentation or so and uh, you have options on the size going up and you may also want to rotate the page this may be useful in certain cases if you have a long table that comes and uh, it is such it is in such a way that you want to rotate it to allow uh, reading you have a typewriter so scroll down a little bit to where we have text uh, you have typewriter uh, which can allow you to add a line of text on the PDF but we don't want to do that right now you have highlight uh, which basically can allow you to highlight uh, so we saw the selection tool before so highlight allows you to highlight directly and um, now the thing is with highlight if you go in there and you think yellow was not so much a nice color for you you can right click go to properties and uh, here you choose color and maybe uh, green is a good color for you a better one and let's choose any of the greens so we choose that one and if we choose it and uh, so I don't know why this is showing like this but you can reduce the the opacity of the color so meaning it shouldn't be shouting at you in any case and after doing that right you get the color of your choice uh, and you, you always can change this if you if you want to maybe this time around you prefer having sky blue and you, pre you prefer having more opacity you just go there choose and uh, close it and you're going to have that so that way is reading and may not be so stressful to some people's eyes now the next nice thing about uh, the Foxit reader is that you can also um, use it for scanning documents so if you are connected to a scanner you can scan directly from there and uh, or you could add things from a file 
you could use it for signing a PDF document as well as um, you can attach some other files or uh, annotate images and add audios and videos now if we leave home and we go to comment the next nice important thing that comes up is that we have the possibility to add notes so let's say we click on this note and uh, we go in there we now have this popping up and uh, we can add a note like saying uh, this is the buffer uh, we'll use or this is the buffer uh, to use for instance we have it in there and uh, you know it's like showing here you, you can you can close it if you wish to so that it doesn't stand on your, on your way on the page and you can open it uh, each time you want so just clicking on it double will open it you close it clicking on it one time will show you what is in there and um, now the thing is you can move this note if it is standing on the way of a text and we'll see come later to see how we can uh, make these comments disappear why this in the background as we continue reading so we could um, uh, so for, for file we can attach a file to a specific location on the document maybe if I to explain something I haven't used that before but it's something some people definitely may want to use someday typewriter you can add a line of text we already have that before and you can have a text box or a call out text being put in there just like you can draw freely maybe arrows or cycles polygons um, or, or rectangles triangles and you have a pencil and eraser function which you can use for uh, for the drawings and uh, you can highlight areas uh, so just so many things we may not need um, you can measure distance uh, area and so on and you have the possibility to stamp let's say uh, you want to stamp uh, you click on that and uh, you have different possibilities like uh, completed approved you just need to select that and um, you go in there put what you want to put yeah and um, right now if we had a possibility that we added several comments so let's go back to notes and uh, so we are under comments and notes if we went in here and uh, we, we we add other comments like uh, these are the plans so uh, we add that comment now we have that next comment we can close it so I want the comments all to to be to be showing up somehow I can pull that there if I wish I can pull this to the side just like I can pull this to the side if I wish now if we have several comments we have the possibility of summarizing the comment so if we choose in there we have our comment summarized so you may just go along and experiment with this and see what magic comes up now you wouldn't have to go through the manual work of taking a piece of paper and writing with pen what your comments are we also have the possibility of uh, importing comments or exporting them and um, further on we have uh, the tool comments or pop-up notes uh, so using comments as an example we can show all or we can hide all if we hide we're not seeing anything and if we show all they appear again so we go to view and uh, view will just uh, show you how to uh, uh, optimize the document for for viewing so those are things you can experiment with uh, this could be things that have to do with the reading mode the rotate mode or the line or this auto scroll and uh, you already have uh, most of the things and um, the other thing you may also do is um, like uh, doing a word count so just go through the, the, the functions and you see lots of important things which could be up to you from I've not used that and it may not be important for now and to protect uh, nowadays uh, some PDFs have to be protected you can sign it uh, one way or the other sign and certified or add a timestamp so that uh, some other person is not coming to, to fraud uh, later on by saying it was done one way or the other you can also share 
and in this case uh, we have some options so um, I think for now there's no WhatsApp there since most of you are on WhatsApp you can also go on email if you've set up your email client on your computer and this may take you directly to something like Outlook um, not so necessary for now for most of those who are not uh, linked up to Outlook um, and we, we have the connect function uh, which uh, I've not used before and may not be of much use for you now help there you can go to read information about the different things if you have a problem or you can look about updates or some errors that is with the program rarely happen rarely happens but who knows and under extras you have some other extra things uh, which may be needed one way or the other so um that could be it about uh, using the Foxit PDF reader. Uh, the most important thing for us will be to be able to, ma to make notes in there, to highlight and to be able to summarize the notes somehow if we wish to and pick them up to uh, make a composite notes out of them. And the other next thing will be to be able to get snapshots of uh, the PDF, especially if we want to build up PowerPoint presentations. So, um, and one last thing before we finish with this is that um, usually you may have scores of PDF documents you read each day and at times you have this faint thought that you saw something in one of them and uh, you are at a difficult moment trying to find out where that was but uh, you have the search function up here which you can use like to search different things and uh, supposing uh, you put in the west and put enter then it will find that for you on the page and with this possibility you can easily go through a PDF file quickly to search out for keywords and to know if there was something uh, you got in one of the papers so again to summarize um, we choose this program because it has uh, lots of awesome functions even compared to most of the commercially available, pro available programs and uh, the aim will be for you to use it optimally in reading your PDFs while you're preparing for your thesis and in this case you want to be able to highlight things that are important to you with color you want to be able to make notes you want to be able to summarize them easily and uh, you want to document the PDFs in an orderly manner so that tomorrow when you come back to them you are not repeating yourself in reading a PDF which you already read it will be easier looking at the highlights you did already and at the notes to have a summary of what you read so thank you for listening and thank you for watching and thank you for being attentive to this let's look forward to our next video I wish you a great day. Bye.